Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Thank you guys, 172,000 subscribers. Now, today's video is actually urgent. It is actually urgent. It's urgent because we are looking at a Bitcoin plan. All right, I got the idea from none other than the marketing genius himself, Alex Becker. It puts actually, actually urgent in a title. The video is almost double the views. So double the amount of people are seeing the information to get the information out there. Actually urgent, 320. Actually urgent, 140. Actually urgent, 250. Actually urgent, 230. There's just actually urgent everywhere. Anyway, this is what I'm seeing. This video is actually urgent. I've said that enough. Let's have a look at what we're going to talk about today and why. But first, like the video up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, right down here. Go for it, thank you. Bell notification icon so you can be updated with videos that are coming out. Let's get back to the actually urgent message today with Bitcoin planning. So the plan comes down to several things and this is a really simple plan. Why the hell am I putting this together today? Well, I see the fear and greed index in an actually urgent space. Now, if this isn't urgent, what the hell is urgent? Is urgent looking at some news that's just moved the market and you're too late anyway? Is urgent getting onto the phone to your mum to tell her that you've lost a whole lot of money on cryptocurrencies? I don't know, whatever urgent is to you, that's your prerogative. For me, actually urgent is planning out what you're gonna do if we see a slow time in the crypto space for the next one, two, three, six months. That is urgent. We need to get planning. I did this to, I did this up today because I had a theory around uh, buying in on when the fear index is hits a certain area. So I'm looking at 15 on the fear and greed index. I'm going to show you this on the Bitcoin chart as well. I'm going to uh, do this on this video and then I'm going to talk about it in more detail with the Investor Accelerator Group because we need to get into different parameters of a plan. But this is a good start. So if you want to continue with it, Obviously there's the Investor Accelerator, but if you're not ready for that, that's cool. Go and check out the other videos on the channel under the uh, beginner for Bitcoin. It's like new to cryptocurrency playlist. There are plenty of videos I have on the channel on how to set out your plan. It's urgent now because if the market goes quiet, you have time. Don't leave it to the last minute. Don't leave it until the market starts to take off again and then you're flustering and then everything is urgent. The time is now. All right, so fear and greed index is what we're gonna look at and then compare that to the Bitcoin chart itself and a simple dollar cost averaging plan. The other thing to add to it are uh, filters to eliminate potential, or to eliminate some of the signals so that you don't have to be buying in on every signal. So that's, a, that's another big thing to add into a plan. That's how it works. Um, a prerequisite to the entire investing, planning, trading, whatever it is you're doing in, with finance is fricking Patience, that's the main thing. You need to have patience with this. Uh, would you really care if you bought in in 2018, 2019 at $5,000 Bitcoin or a $4,000 Bitcoin and you had to wait two or three years to get yourself a 10X? Like now it seems like a fantastic idea, but at the time you had to have patience. Perfectionism, perfection does not exist. So as soon as you can figure that out, then life becomes a hell of a lot easier with investing. There is nothing to tell you to always buy the bottom and always sell the top. All we wanna do is take a chunk out of the middle. That's it. As long as we hit our goals, we take a chunk out of the middle, we don't lose money, we protect money, life is good. Life is very, very good. And that goes with every single investment. That's, that's always the way. Reduce uh, your dollar cost averaging size above X. So this is some of the filters that we can talk about, but you'll have to do a lot more digging on this because there are going to be particular filters which will suit you and not other people. Selling parameters, like, okay, we're bought in, but what about selling? There are other parameters, other filters that you can add on top of this. And you can keep it so simple, even for beginners. Swing chart rules are one of those. Lower highs, higher lows. You even see this on the fear and greed index. So let's have a look at the chart. This is my Bitcoin chart. We've got Bitcoin, Tether, it's on Binance. I'm only going back to the bear market crashes so that we can see that nothing is perfect and the patience uh, is the biggest factor here. So in Bitcoin, we had some signals at all of these blue markers, at these major lows, at these other highs. I mean, this looks like bad areas to buy in, especially when the market drops back into the four and five and $6,000 areas. Like I said, nothing is uh, perfect, but if you have patience, then it still uh, gets you to buy into the market at these levels when we end up heading all the way up 
into the 60,000s. So these levels are around the nine and $10,000 area. Now we're seeing signals again. So remember when I talk about it being actually urgent, this is actually urgent. This doesn't mean that the market can't go lower. Look what happened here. This is the end of the bull market. You don't know that until you get the breakdown and you uh, you basically go, go go sideways and quiet. You start to see it here because the, the tops are getting lower. They're lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. It keeps getting smacked back down. People are trying to buy it up because they think it's a bull market, gets smacked down. So keep that in mind if we start to see that playing out here, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. It just means there's not enough energy. Then if you get the break of the lows, we're in trouble. But we're talking about a plan here and this plan requires patience. Buying up at all these lows seem like a really, really stupid idea through this part of the bear market. But I'll tell you, a lot of people were still buying these highs. A lot of people were buying the $9,000 high, the $8,000 high, which doesn't seem so bad anymore considering we're at 30K or 35K. Uh, but buying the lows would have been better, 6,000, because the returns are so, so, so much more. 6,000 to 60,000 is very is vastly different than buying at 9,000 to 60,000. Even though it doesn't seem like much at the bottom, it is vastly different. Sure, you could use that back at these lows and say, well, it would have been better just to buy everything at 3,000 and none of it at 6,000. <laughs> Very true. But like I said, this is a plan. Nothing is perfect. So if we're averaging out these, um, these buy-in positions and then having patience and writing it out, you're going to get an average from around 5.5 to 6.5 plus 3 to around 4, call it 4.5. So then you've got an average position somewhere in 4.5 four and a half thousand dollar Bitcoin, something like that. Add a few of these into it, maybe you end up at a six thousand dollar Bitcoin, but you're still in a much better better position than dollar cost averaging in the whole way up. So patience is a big one. It's urgent. Keep it in mind if we go quiet in the market for a few months, give yourself time to plan it out and have a look at what you're doing. So these little blue dots, I'll go into a little more detail. What I'm using here is the fear and greed index. All right, uh, like we can see today, we're at extreme fear we're at 21. Yesterday was 27. Last week was 19 and last month was greed. We were in a greed state of 59. So what I'm using here is the indicator being 15 or under. I just chose an arbitrary number. I saw 15 on this chart and thought, that looks like a good idea. Let me go and test that. And so that's how I create a plan. I'm just testing it. I'm just going through and going, where are these numbers lining up? Let me put this on a, what have I got here? I've got a year chart. I'll go to a three month chart. I've got this level at 27. Okay, I'm not buying that day. 20, not buying that day. 11, okay, 20th of May. 20th of May is the day after the massive crash. Now remember that these, uh, these, these, this data doesn't come until the following day and it only gets updated once a day, I believe. So every, so every sort of 24 hours. So even though this um, fear and greed index number came in at 11 on the 20th, I suspect it was the 19th. So you're not gonna know until the next day. So maybe you're gonna buy it on the open. So you gotta have a, a signal a parameter of when you're gonna buy it. So that open price is at 36,600. This is how to create a plan. So it becomes mechanical and it just like makes life a hell of a lot easier. And you're not in here buying all these tops. Everyone, or if you remember, go back to YouTube videos. It probably even my own because that's the way it was titled. That's what happens with the SEO search engine. You know, people are searching for altcoin season, altcoin to pop off 100x, um, you know, buying Bitcoin at these levels. But all these purple boxes is when retail was buying. You know, you might have noticed yourself. Look at these areas. That is when the unfortunate dumb money, mum and dad investors, retail investors, just the name for them. This is when they're buying and people are selling out to them. This, oh, well, smart money is selling out to them. You can see it also on the fear and greed index. And if I bring it back to one year, very interesting thing happens. We get lower highs here. So I'll get into the buy again, but I've got a little um, note here is that we saw all these highs coming in in February. We're at the extreme, extreme greed at 90s, 95s, 92s. And then that wasn't even the all time high. The all time highs started to come in here in April 16, April 15. But this Fear and greed was a lot lower than this extreme time. So the greed was dropping off. So we're getting a lower high, which is a downtrend, while the market is still going up. Look at the top, the top's on the 14th of April. So the extreme greed wasn't even at the top. It started to peter out. And it basically just died out into this next lower top into May. So mid, early to mid-May on the fear and greed was lower again. So we continued just to slide off this greed scam, we're getting into a fearful zone before 
the top had even well the top had already come in and we're already starting to get fearful but people are believing that we should keep going up you know it's just like buy bitcoin it's buy every dip it's like no 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 here's a way to do it without having to buy every dip all dips are not created equally so bringing it back to what i was talking about with uh, the buy-in points we looked at the 30th now let's go back to the max and this is going to be a bit harder in the the screen size I've got here, if you can spread this out so much bigger, I'm only on a laptop, you're gonna be able to see a lot more data. 22nd of August, uh, let's let's go back to the beginning here. So we got uh, April or March at around, that's 17, data back here. Here we go, come on. All right, 5th of February, 11, 5th of February. That's 2019. We're gonna zoom into this point here. 2018, my bad, all right. So 2018, 5th of Feb, that's the first one I got here, right there. So now we're buying in at the open of the following day, 6,900, sucks. $7,000 Bitcoin, we're buying it at that point, but it probably would have kept us out a lot of the area up here. So $7,000 Bitcoin, and that's all I'm doing here, is just going back and having a look at this chart first. So what, what are these? prices that are coming in here and look trying to look at and as many as I possibly can around 30th of March is at 12 second of April is at 11 so here's March 30th of March there's 31st there's 1st of April basically I'm now buying a $6,800 Bitcoin and that's all I'm doing in, in terms of this plan just going through here's another time that the fear and greed index was 15 or under Here's another time, this little blue arrow, little blue arrow, little blue arrow. I'm not even looking at volume, so I'll take that off. All right, so all of these are feel greed 15 or less. All of this, buy, 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 buy. Okay, so we know the average price is somewhere in that four and a half to five K area. These areas are higher on the fear and greed index, but it's still a good point to buy in. It's on the way up. So there are other filters which, have, which will have to come into it, which make it a little more complex. But if you want to keep it simple, then you just don't buy any of these things which are over 15. Some of these are at 16, just to show you the, the detail. These ones up here are actually under 15 because we started to get a little more fear in the market. So then we've got to bring in some other filters to say, okay, maybe I don't buy when it's 15 and it is trading in its top 50% of the range. So if you know, we hook a fib and we'll look at this in the group in more detail, but see, this is above the 50%, so it's more bullish. So maybe I don't buy when it's above 15 on uh, on the fear and greed when it's above the 50% zone. You could use a, a moving average as well if you wanted to. So all, all of this is just putting in rules to make life so much easier moving forward. And when these times come in the market, no matter how much fear is out there, it says in my plan, buy a Bitcoin, buy a Bitcoin at these lows, buy it on the next day at the open price. And that is 36,671, buy it at that price. And then I just wait for the next signal to come up and I take all emotion out of the market. I don't have to watch the news so much. Everything just is, is so much easier. Now, the next part of the strategy you need to put in is selling. So we'd go through and do something similar like that. Maybe if it's that agreed price, maybe it has to be above 50%. Maybe it has to show another signal and you can start to add in all of these metrics to give you another, uh, another rule to exit the market as well. Remember, this is not perfection. We're not looking for perfection. We are looking to make profits. That's it. So if I've got a way to make profits, buying here, selling on, who knows, some of these areas or when it breaks through some swings, now I've just made the chunk of profits from the average here to when it breaks these swings, 800%. Okay, I've had to wait three years, but now I actually have 900% locked in and now I have a signal to buy back in lower. This is urgent valuable, very, very valuable stuff that can make you a lot of money and uh, you just need patience. You really need patience. So if you found some value from this, let me know. Hit that like button down below, bell notification icon, subscribe to the channel so you can be updated with more information like this. Uh, if you enjoyed this sort of video, let me know in the comments and of course, let me know in the like so that I know to make more content like this. I suspect if we do go quiet sideways period, if we don't get a V-shaped recovery, we'll have plenty of time to be covering off um, like plan scenarios. And as I said, many times we talk in more detail about this in the Investor Accelerator. We can go into filters, we can discuss it in a group setting and uh, people who are 
more interested in creating themselves a plan as well. But if, by all means, if you want to um, give it a crack yourself, everything is out there online. It's all for free. But either way, you've got plenty of options out there as well. We've also got the free newsletter. You can leave your email address. There's a link to that down below so you can be updated with cryptocurrency, stocks, the property cycle, all that sort of information. We do one of those every two weeks. So stay in touch with that. And also join me on Instagram for daily Q&As, Twitter for news. Thank you very much for joining me on my actually urgent video about planning your investment strategy. Love to see you in the Investor Accelerator group. Otherwise, catch you on the next YouTube video or on Twitter or Instagram. Until then, have more fun to get more done.